second day I suck at Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know how to rank up. Please help me. I'm stuck. Don't worry. Just play tomorrow. But I don't even know how to play Amaru, I suck with Amaru as well! Stop right there! I'm the best Amaru main in the entire universe and I'm here to teach you how to play Amaru! Let's get right into this! So how's it going on everybody? I'm SMJ and I'm here to teach you how to play Amaru! Wait! Oh, hold on a second... I'm a professional Rainbow Six player in here... Oh my god... So, I'm here to teach you how to play Omaru and unleash your true potential of ranking up in Rainbow Six Siege. First step. So what I'm talking about right now is just not about Omaru, but who said you should always play an assault rifle when you're attacking? Who said that? This guy? What are you doing, bro? If I actually could go back to the time that a Sledge had an SMG-11, I would never use the assault rifle. You got a, a shotgun for guaranteed kill close range kills and just practice with the SMG-11 and take those long range gunfights. What else do you need? But you should not always be playing the shotgun. There are some maps like Bank, which actually playing the assault rifle gives you more advantage because it's it's too large. The map is so huge, bro. Like 95% of the gunfights you're taking are not close range. Those are actually like real, real long range gunfights. It's like, think of the garage. Like you're outside of the building and there is someone just way far. How are you going to win that gunfight with like an SMG-11? But yeah, you would never find yourself with Gamaru in that situation, to be honest. This message is to all Rainbow Six Siege players. Normalize playing Gamaru. Whenever a teammate of mine or me, myself, the Gamaru god, plays Gamaru, everyone, everyone in the blue Everyone in the team goes like, dude, play something useful, play a better operator, switch to a sledge, switch to blah blah blah, switch to blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah, blah. Dude, Omaru is nasty as fuck. Flashbangs or hard breach charge, assault rifle, the G8 or the shotgun, SMG11 or gun 6. Dude, wh what do you need? And something I see real beginner Omaru remains do is that they pick Omaru. I find the biggest window of the map which goes to the bomb site and go right straight into it, die in the first five seconds in the round and put their team in a five versus four situation. What the hell are you doing? Like Amaru is mostly useful when the bomb site when you're playing on a three floor map, like Chalet, Bank, and Consulate. But on the smaller maps, it's just it's good, but it's the best at the biggest maps. You wanna play Amaru to get map control real soon. Like for example, you're playing Chalet, the bomb site is basement, and what you wanna do is to get in from the big window in bedroom. But make sure you got at least two drones being checked for you in real time. You know what I mean? One, one in solarium and one in piano. So you're safe to get in bedroom without getting shot from right and left. And the room itself should be clear because you droned it earlier and when you have a drone in solar, you might want a piano, there is no way a guy can get into bedroom, like, you know what I mean? And do the same thing for other big maps. Like when you're playing bank, you want to get yourself in the top floor within like the first 20 seconds. And you need to make sure that there are drones there uh, being watched for you to make sure that it's clear. You don't just want to get in with no info and die and let your team play 4v5. I'm saying this again, Amaru is not an operator to just rush with. Amaru is an operator to take map control real earlier and help your team. You know what I mean? If you get third floor of bank in the first 20 seconds, like you save a lot of time. You just don't want to drone it, play jackal, like first one getting from the square, the second guy getting from the square, repel, repel windows, blah, 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 blah. Fuck no. You get in, make sure it's clear for, a for your team. And probably the enemy don't expect you to be to be in there in the first 20 seconds and you, you can probably get them without uh, any problem, if it makes sense. But SMJ, I want to rush with Amaru. What do I do other than just getting in from the big window of the bomb site like in Coastline? Listen, listen to me, my student. You need to find a window that is close to the bomb site and it's far enough to the bomb site that the enemies cannot hear you clearly. Like you got a window in luggage. I've never seen an Amaru player, in my games at least, to rush from that luggage window. Just pull that shit up, aim it towards the window and left click. Get in luggage. You just don't want to aim it at like hookah window and get into the bomb. There is a rotation to your left, there is Melusi traps to your right, there is a big ass rotation in front of you, blah 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 blah. You need to rush in the safest way. And there are windows around office, downstairs. You can uh, get in from the office windows. 
uh, like you see pictures from uh, what I'm saying on the screen probably. Uh, get in from office windows and you sneak your way up the main stairs and get into luggage or like the hallway. Luggage, lounge, what, uh, dude. <laughs> I, I seriously forgot the call. Yeah, do that. If you want me to make a video of the best tomorrow spots and uh, like the best, the best windows to get in from, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make one for you probably. Think of this scenario. There is, you're playing bank. There is someone playing in open area. You're familiar with open area hold. How tough is it to get in and kill the guy in open area if he's not picking, not doing anything, or he's just too aggressive? What you wanna do? You just don't want to pick from open area window. You're a Mario. You take control of top floor. You sink your way down from the main stairs. Get in from the open area door and kill the guy. And the guy in open area has no idea what is happening. You just get in, kill him, and if you're playing hard recharge, open hatches your team can get in up an area and you're just done you're guaranteed to win the round and amaru is a three speed one armor operator just run get yourself in the bomb site i just said not to do that so the thing with amaru is that when you see yourself stuck in a position imagine that you're playing clubhouse and you are stuck in logistic oh my god what, what are you gonna do if you're ash what are you gonna do if you're like mountain what are you gonna do if you're any other operator you're stuck in logistic. There are multiple people looking at you. You cannot do anything other than sitting in the room and wasting time as an attacker. You just point that shit up towards the hatch and get out. Like, so it's just, it's kind of similar to Oryx on defense. If you find yourself stuck in a situation, just dash out of there. And like, that's the same with Amaru. If you are in a room with a hatch, boom, you're out. And I want you to normalize playing shotgun at attack, dude. It's awesome. Like 95% of the time now, I play a sledge with a shotgun. Like even on operators other than Amaru, if they have an SMG as a secondary, like Ibana, I play shotgun. Dude, bearing nine is awesome for long range, short range. You got a flashbang and a shotgun. Dude, like what, what else do you need? Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video useful, make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll probably make a video of the best Amaru spots on every map, like uh, probably ranked maps, if that's what you want. Or if you just want to destroy kids on the uh, quick match, I might make one for quick match maps as well. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.